Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing how to find the value of N and R in permutation using the formula. Let's have the following objectives in today's topic. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to Letter A. Find the permutation of N objects taken R at a time. Letter B. Solve the value of N or R using the formula of permutation of N objects taken R at a time. And letter C. Value the concepts of permutation in solving real-life situation. Let's have our first example. Find the permutation of numbers 1 to 10 if 5 numbers are taken at a time. So we will be identifying the given. So the value of n which is the number of objects is equal to 10. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then the value of r the number of objects we will select is equal to 5. And then after that, we will use the formula. We have NPR is equal to N factorial over the quantity N minus R factorial. And then after that, we will substitute the corresponding value. The value of N is equal to 10. Then the value of R is equal to 5 equals N factorial. So we have 10 factorial over quantity, the value of n again is equal to 10, minus the value of r again is equal to 5, factorial. And then after that, bring down 10p5 is equal to 10 factorial, so that is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And if you will press it on your calculator, 10 factorial, the answer will be 3,628,800. All over the quantity of 10 minus 5 factorial is equal to 5 factorial. And then after that, we will bring down 10p5 is equal to copy 3,628,800 over 5 factorial. This is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 120. And then after that, bring down 10p5 equals, you will simplify this one, 3,628,800 divided by 120 is equal to 30,240. Therefore, there are 30,240 permutations of numbers 1 to 10 if we will just use 5 numbers. On our first example, we have solved for the value of the permutations. This time, let's find the value of R. So we have the given the permutation of 7 objects taken R at a time, which is equal to 840. Let us identify first the given. So the number of objects is equal to 7. And then we have the number of permutation that is made is equal to 840. And this time, we will find the value of R. To do that, we will use the formula of the permutation. NPR is equal to N factorial over the quantity of N minus R factorial. And then after that, we will substitute the value of NPR, which is the permutation, and that is equal to 840, equals the value of N, which is equal to 7, followed by factorial, all over the quantity of N, which is again equal to 7, minus r which is unknown then close parentheses followed by a factorial and then after that 840 since this is a whole number it has a denominator of one so we will put one here in the denominator for us to be able to cross multiply the problem later so we will bring down first 840 over one equals seven factorial we will simplify 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 or you can press it on your calculator type 7 then followed by factorial symbol and then equal sign that is equal to 5040 all over 
the quantity 7 minus r factorial, you will just copy it. And then after that, we will cross multiply. So 840 times the quantity of 7 minus r factorial is 840 times 7 minus r factorial equals 1 times 5040 is equal to 5040. And then we will divide this both sides by 840. So whatever the number which is beside this open and close parentheses followed by factorial symbol will be divided by that number. And that is 840. Okay, divide both sides by 840. And 840 will be cancelled out both on the numerator and then the denominator. And then we will copy the quantity 7 minus r factorial equals we will divide 5040 divided by 840 and that is equal to 6. And then after that, we will copy first the quantity 7 minus r factorial equals the number 6 here we will be transforming it in factorial form. So we will start at 1. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. So the answer is not yet 6. So we will keep multiplying it by the next number until we get the number 6. So we have 1 times 2 is 2. And then 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So 1 times 2 times 3 is the factors of 6. And 1 times 2 times 3 is equal to 3 factorial. So this is the factorial form of 6. That is 3 factorial. And then after that, after we have get the factorial form of this number, we will cancel out the factorial symbol. So we will have 7 minus r equals 3. And then we will solve for the value of r. Transpose negative r, it will become positive r. And then after that, you will just bring down 7 and then transpose positive 3, it will become negative 3. So r is equal to 7 minus 3, which is equal to 4. Therefore, the value of r is equal to 4. Let's have our next example. We have the permutation of 12 objects taken r at a time, which is equal to 1320. Let's identify first the following given. The value of n is equal to 12. The value of our permutation is equal to 1320. And then the value of r is unknown. And then after that, we will have our solution. We will use our formula. npr is equal to n factorial over the quantity of n minus r factorial. And then after that, we will substitute the corresponding value. The value of our permutation is equal to 1320 equals the value of n is equal to 12 followed by factorial all over the quantity of the value of n which is equal to 12 minus the value of r which is unknown and then close parentheses followed by factorial. And then after that, we will put a denominator here since 1320 is a whole number, so the denominator will be equal to 1. And then we will copy first 1320 over 1 equals, we will solve for 12 factorial. You will just type it on your calculator, 12 followed by the factorial symbol, and then press equal sign. That is equal to 479 million. 1,600 all over copy the quantity 12 minus r factorial and then after that we will cross multiply 1,320 times the quantity 12 minus r factorial is equal to 1,320 times the quantity of 12 minus r factorial and then 479 million 1,600 times 1 is equal to 479,000,600. And then after that, whatever the number which is besides the quantity 12 minus r factorial is we will divide it by that number both sides. Meaning to say we will divide this both sides by 1,320. And 1,320 will be cancelled out in both numerator and denominator. So we have 
Uh, the quantity 12 minus R factorial equals 479,001,600 divided by 1,320 is equal to 362,880. And then, after that, we will transform 362,880 into factorial form. We will start with 1. So we have 1 times 2, that is equal to 2. So it is not yet uh, equal to 362,880. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. It is not yet equal by 362,880. So we will continue multiplying the numbers until we get 362,880. And then we will get the factor which is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 up to the number 9. And then after that, we will bring down the quantity 12 minus R factorial equals so 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8 times 9 is equal to 9 factorial. And then we will cancel out the factorial symbol. So we will have 12 minus r is equal to 9. We will compute for the value of r. We will transpose negative r. It will become positive r. We will bring down 12. And then transpose positive 9. It will become negative 9. And then bring down r equals 12 minus 9 is equal to 3. Therefore, the value of r is equal to 3. Let's now find the value of n. So we have the given the permutation of n objects taken 3 at a time which is equal to 60. Let's identify first the given. The value of the permutation is equal to 60. The value of r is equal to 3. And we will find the value of n. Let's have our solution. So our first step is to look at the value of r. So the value of r is equal to 3. Meaning to say, we will have three factors and we will represent it by the equation n times the quantity n minus 1 times the quantity n minus 2. Meaning to say, these three numbers or these three factors must be consecutive numbers. And then it will be equal by 60, the value of permutation. And then after that, we will think of three consecutive numbers which has a product of 60. We will bring down the quantity n times n minus 1 times the quantity n minus 2 and then equals. So the three consecutive factors of 60 is 3, 4, and 5. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. 12 times 5 is equal to 60. And then after that, we will equate n by the highest factor. So this will be the value of n. n is equal to 5. Another method is to equate n minus 1 by the second highest factor which is equal to 4. So we have the quantity n minus 1 which is equal to 4 and then bring down n transpose negative 1 it will become positive 1 and then we will add 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Or you can equate n minus 2 by 3. So n minus 2 is equal to 3. Bring down n. Negative 2 transpose, it will become positive 2. And then 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So n is equal to 5. So these are the solutions on how to compute for the value of n. So let's have another example. So we have the permutation of n objects taken 4 at a time, which is equal to 3024. Let's identify first the given. The value of the permutation is equal to 3024. The value of r is equal to 4. And we will find the value of n. So the value of r is equal to 4. Therefore, we will have 4 consecutive factors. And we will represent that using the equation n times the quantity n minus 1 times the quantity n minus 2 times the quantity n minus 3 and we will equate it by 3024 and then after that we will think of four numbers that has a product of 3024 four consecutive numbers that has a product of 3024 so we will copy n times the quantity n minus 1 times the quantity n minus 2 times the quantity n minus 3 equals the four consecutive factors, which is equal to 6 times 7 times 8 
times 9. And that is equal to 3024. And then, to get the value of n, we will equate n with our highest factor. And that is equal to 9. Or, we will equate n minus 1 by 8. So, n minus 1 is equal to 8. Simplifying that will be equal also to 9. Or, another method is to equate n minus 2 by 7. And simplifying this one will be also equal to 9. And the last method is to equate n minus 3 by 6. So n minus 3 is equal to 6. So simplifying this one, 6 plus 3. So n will be also equal to 9. Therefore, the value of n is equal to 9. Let's have our last example. We have the permutation of n objects taken 3 at a time, which is equal to 504. And then let's identify the following given. We have NPR or the permutation is equal to 504. The value of R is equal to 3. And the value of N is unknown. So let's have the solution. We will look at the value of R which is 3. Meaning to say we have 3 consecutive numbers. And we will represent it by the equation n times the quantity n minus 1 times the quantity n minus 2. So these three variables are consecutive numbers and that three numbers is equal to 504. We will think of three numbers which is equal to 504, three consecutive numbers which is equal to 504 and that is 7 times 8 times 9. So we will just bring down n times the quantity n minus 1 times the quantity n minus 2 and then after that we will equate n with the highest factor and that will be the value of n so n will be equal to 9.